Hello, I'm Kyle Bradshaw from Chaparral Motorsports, and today I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step installation of this Cena 30K into this Icon Airflight helmet. Now, as you can see, I've already got the 20S mounted this helmet. I've been using it since it was released about four years ago. It's been a great unit, but I'm excited to be able to give you the features and benefits that the 30K has over that 20S after having used it for about 1,000 miles. So now, let's jump in, get this 20S extracted so we can get the 30K onto this helmet. Now that the 20S has been removed from this helmet, we can now start the installation of our 30K. Now the first thing we need to decide is number one, where are we gonna mount this clamp? And number two, which of the different mics are we gonna use? So as you can see, I had to go ahead and cut a hole in here in order to get this bracket kit in order to work because my existing unit didn't have any sticky mounts and I transferred it from one helmet to another. If I were to do it again and not wanna cut a hole, I could have used this sticky mount. You basically just remove the double stick tape, set that in place here, and then this unit bolts down to here. But I've already cut the hole, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Um, next, I need to figure out if I'm going to use the boom mic, which I'm not gonna use in this case. And the reason for that, on this particular helmet, instead of there just being a gap here, there's a piece of trim that runs all the way up that's connected to that earpiece. What I've done is I've cut a hole in that gap so that this can slide up inside there but the problem that I've got is I still have to run the boom mic. And I really don't want to try to snake this boom mic down into this hole and forward. And I really don't want it hanging out on the outside of my helmet like this either. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the boom mic and install the wired mic. So to swap the microphone, I'm going to start by removing these two screws here all the way. So now that we have this back plate released, we need to remove this boom mic. So once you get to this point, you have a locking collar here. You're gonna twist that locking collar towards the inside of the unit and then wiggle the mic itself and it's gonna go ahead and separate. Now you get to choose one of the other two mics that you'd like to install. In this case, I'm gonna go with the wired mic due to my personal preference and setup of my helmet. We're gonna go ahead and slide that in place. And once that's in place, we're gonna rotate this locking collar back around. So you have a nice secure attachment. We're then gonna pull this guy back up and reinstall our screws. Now we're only gonna put just a couple turns on these screws as we're gonna still have to run this into the helmet. I'm gonna take this guy and slide it right up into the helmet. Now we need to make sure that our unit is gonna slide on and off to the helmet. As you can see, there's a nice little crease right here, a groove kind of sticks out. On the last one I did, I didn't leave enough room to be able to set the unit in place and slide it in. Looks like we're running into that same issue here too. So we're gonna move this down just a little bit. Want to make sure that we're able to hmm, really need to space this off the helmet just a little bit. So due to that clearance issue that I had, I'm going to go ahead and take another piece of rubber. And I'm going to stack it on top of the existing. What that's gonna do is gonna make this sit a little further out so I get a good slide on that main unit. Okay. Okay, bring the helmet back into play. Go ahead and slide. Bring this unit up. Now we're gonna check to make sure that this guy can easily, it's perfect. So it's gonna sit a little further away from the helmet than I would originally want. 
but due to the height of this unit, the dramatic lip right here, that's the best way to get this mounted onto this particular helmet. Like I said, last time I had this thing fully mounted and then went to try to install and kind of ran into a roadblock. But it looks like right now that roadblock has been alleviated. Okay, now it's a matter of running our wires down through the helmet. So I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and take out this cheek pad, like so. Just gonna go ahead and separate a little bit so I can get these wires to run down where I want them to go. Now this is the longer speaker wire, so it's gonna go to the other side of the helmet. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the internal helmet of the liner out so I can just snake this wire around and underneath that part of the liner. All right, as you can see, there's a speaker, speaker pocket already built in on both sides of this helmet. On my last unit that I transferred from helmet to helmet, I didn't have spacers like these, and I probably should have had those in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set this guy just like that. Remove my, remove this before using protective film. And I'm gonna go ahead and install, actually I should do that before, my comfort liner over the speaker. And this is a cut in the bottom of this, and that's for this wire. So make sure you get lined up in the proper spot. So you get this speaker cover to go over in the right location, just like that. Okay, now that's pulled over. I'm gonna go ahead and take this fuzzy piece. and fix my speaker to that. So they sit a little bit further out from the wall of the helmet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy around and set it in place. Okay, that wire's just gonna hang out in there, if you will. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this side here. There you have that side on the frame, so it's good. Now I'm gonna take this one. And pull that guy up and over. And go ahead and fix that guy. Plug in just like that. Now with the speakers in, we're gonna go ahead and put our comfort liner back into place. Now that we have that cheek pad in, we're buttoned up and ready to move on to the other side. Now removing this chin curtain is not necessary, typically, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing up front here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put an extra one of these little microphone pieces. up here into the front of the helmet where I'm gonna want this microphone to be able to have some adhesion. All right, I'm now gonna take this wired mic and set it in place where I think that best spot's gonna be. And then go ahead and run this wire back underneath the cheek pad. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and snap this chin curtain back into place and reinstall my cheek pad. All right, now that we've got that cheek pad installed, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of finalize the positioning of our wiring here. Make sure that this headset piece is in the place that we want it. Again, make sure that we can set our headset down in, have that clicking noise so we know that it locks into place. And that 
is going to be a good setup. Now I'm just going to flip this thing over and tighten up these screws. Okay, nice and firm. Nice work. All right, so now we got this mount securely installed. It's in place, it's not going anywhere. Our unit slides down, locks into place. Looks like we're good to go. Now, due to the fact that I spaced that out a little bit, I'm gonna have a little bit of a gap here. Hopefully that doesn't cause a whistle. If it does, I'll have to remount this and find a different route to go. But that is pretty much how simple it is to go ahead and install the new 30K. Now that we have the unit installed, the speakers run, the mic run, it's time to connect this to your phone so that you can get that Bluetooth capability. So what we're gonna to do to begin with is I'm gonna go ahead and open the Cena app in the My Cena. It's now gonna go ahead and be taking a look to see if it sees a unit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this guy on and it's gonna see what is around. Connect your headset. So we're gonna turn on the Cena headset, which we have done. Blinking blue. We're gonna press and hold the phone button for five seconds to make the headset discoverable. One, two, three, four, five. All right, it's now discoverable. We're now gonna to go to my phone's Bluetooth. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna to go to Bluetooth. And what do we see? Cena 30K. We're gonna to touch Cena 30K. And now it shows the Cena 30K is connected. All right, so that's it. We now have the Cena 30K paired to the phone, music and play. I'm sure they can make phone calls now if I wanted to while riding the motorcycle, but it's set up and ready to roll. We're gonna get this thing out onto the road, begin testing, and come back to you with our update on how this is different than the Cena 20S. All right, there you have it. We now have this 30K Cena unit installed in this Icon AirFlight helmet. As you were able to see in that video installation, we have a sticky mount and a hard mount. You got two different options for mounting. As far as this, the microphone goes, you got three different options. You got the wired mount that we used, you have the wired slash boom combo that makes your boom twice as long as the standard boom, and then you have the boom mount that this unit comes already pre-mounted with. That pre-mounted boom mic is the one that I typically use, but in a helmet such as this, you have to get a little bit creative. As far as the speakers go, we had several different thicknesses of padding so we can get the perfect fit. All right, now it's time to get this thing out on the road so we can come back and give you the update on how this unit is new and improved over the 20S. If you found this video at all helpful, please hit the thumbs up button down there. And if you like more of this information, hit the bell so you can be notified as soon as we make more uploads available. I'm Kyle Bradshaw, thanks for joining us. Until next time, take care and ride safe.